ever. My name is Jess and I'm attempting to watch every Disney movie ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Magnificent Rebel. This movie is about Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah. If you don't know who Beethoven is, you can unsubscribe. You can dislike. You can get out of here. Just kidding. Please stay. Ludwig von Beethoven is a famous composer from the 1700s into the 1800s. He wrote Moonlight's Not on Fur Elise and his Ninth Symphony and Fifth Symphony and it's a lot of music that everyone really knows today. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. That's the fifth symphony. That's the ninth symphony. That's for release. That's Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> the movie follows his life. It was very interesting, very entertaining. I really like Beethoven's music. I really like classical music. So I was so in when I realized it was about Beethoven. They cover the Fifth Symphony, the Ninth Symphony, and Moonlight Sonata. They do not cover for Elise, which is insane to me because that is his most famous song, hands down. Everybody plays that on piano, myself included. I now believe that Beethoven was bisexual. If you want to know what I'm talking about, watch the film. Watch the film and ship it with me. I have no idea if this is a real historical fact because it is technically a fictional film, but they have Beethoven studying under Haydn. And if that's real, that's awesome. They both were amazing composers. I had no idea Haydn was that much older than Beethoven, you know, you just kind of assume they all happen at the same time, but that's not true at all. There are very awkward and unnecessary voiceovers in the film. They're really there to help with the passage of time over his life, but they're completely unnecessary. We can tell visually that there's going to be a passage of time as he's writing or the dissolves or what have you. We do not need the like the random voiceover. They also have a shot where he is stationary and then starts walking and it's obvious that it was supposed to be edited while he was already walking and they didn't do that. I was most excited to see how they would tackle Beethoven going deaf because Beethoven slowly went deaf, but he still wrote music while he was deaf. He wrote his entire Ninth Symphony while he was deaf. They did a great job, I think. They showed the progression of him slowly going deaf. They used sound and visuals, and they really tackled and I think accomplished a realistic response when you are dedicated to music and you're going deaf. I mean, imagine how devastated Beethoven must have been when he realized he was going deaf but he bounces back and writes his ninth symphony completely deaf and that is amazing i had a moment during this film where i realized beethoven's friends were witnessing some of the most timeless and iconic music being written and that they had no idea 200 years from their lifetime people would still consider that music timeless iconic and masterpieces and it just makes me wonder what music 200 years from now will be considered masterpieces and timeless and iconic and i hope it's the macarena they had a cute touch where they have beethoven get inspired by a blind child that plays the piano and basically he's like well if a blind kid can play the piano i could play the piano oh my mom is calling hello hi hi what's up what you doing i'm filming disney videos oh i'm sorry honey you're fine You're silly. And and I love you so very much, and I'm I'm very I can't wait to to see you next week. I can't wait to see you next week. I'm proud of you. Oh, mom. I love and you. I love you, girly. I love you most. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I really enjoyed this film. I love Beethoven, I love classical music, so I liked watching a movie about it both. I give it eight masterpieces out of 10. It held my attention, it was entertaining, it wasn't almost angels, but it wasn't boring. So I definitely enjoyed it, watch it. Our total movie count is 
Parent death toll and cry count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of you are. So you do you, and don't be the count about it because he kept Beethoven from the love of his life, and that's not cool. <laughs>